everybody. Welcome to the crypto realm. I'm just going to take a look at an article here of uh, Edward Snowden. He's just calling out Coinbase. It's just his thoughts on Coinbase. It's no big deal. Um, so Edward Snowden calls Coinbase overcompliance toxic and embarrassing. The former NSA contractor turned whistleblower criticized the exchange for favoring compliance over its customers' interests. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So anybody here that doesn't know Edward Snowden, he's pretty much uh, on the run from the government for exposing the government's crimes, which is pretty weird, right? Yeah, that's the world we live in. Same with Julian Assange. He's in prison for exposing corporations and government's crimes because it's top secret. They can do crimes, but not get punished because it's top secret. And it's like, it's not like they're doing it to save our lives. And so that's why it's secret. It's just because they do it so they can gain more information on us. That's why he's on the run. Edward Snowden, he was a contractor and he exposed the NSA, the government, for spying on us, which is like against all our rights and freedoms, right? Because you may not believe it, but guess what? All our human rights do not come from the government. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense to you? We're born free. It's these governments around us that try and control us, our will, our uh, ideology. And then they put us against each other, we fight and squabble while they do nothing and just do their corruption as per usual. So under the protection of, under the guise of protecting us, our government was spying on us through our devices, through our cameras, on our phones, on our laptops, through our mics. And so that was happening. And this guy found out. So now he's on the run because the government's like, what are you doing exposing our secrets? Why are, are you exposing our crimes against humanity? This isn't what you're supposed to do. So they're chasing this dude around the world. He was in Russia. I don't know where he is now. Well, he was at this place just doing a little talk with like uh, 75 people. But he has a big, big fucking thing about government control. I'll tell you that. So the former NSA contractor turned whistleblower criticized the exchange for favoring compliance over its customers' interests. Yep. That's the world, right? What can we do? As society went from dial-up modems to near-constant online presence via smartphones, the ways in which individuals engage with networks underwent a pivotal shift. Internet became not only a place for people to access vast amounts of information and connect with others, but also an avenue for corporations and governments to harvest swaths of information. You know, you don't want government knowing every little thing you do because they're, you think they're there to help you. They honestly will throw you under the bus. <laughs> That's pretty much what the government is. Because if you look at business, the business doesn't, the business doesn't do good. They fail, right? And other people that are smarter and better eventually come along, fill the gap, and you know, life goes on. Government needs your taxes more and more and more and more all the time. That means they can't run a business. They're not making a profit. They're just stealing the money. The biggest Ponzi scheme in history, right? They create the money out of thin air, goes into the system, they tax you to death, take it all back, and yet they want more because they can't do enough with it. How much do they need? <laughs> so Edward Snowden says, that the shift away from the internet's roots was partly a result of corporations that didn't put their users first. Yes. Um, we lost that internet because we onboarded million, billions of people and the people who were providing the gateways for that didn't have their best interest at heart. He said in an intimate fireside chat before 75 attendees of Camp Decrypt in Napa Valley last month. The former NSA contractor turned whistleblower known for revealing an unlawful mass surveillance program in the U.S. in 2013, said he sees a similar trend emerging when it comes to the adoption of cryptocurrency. Snowden compared the way cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase onboards users to the way Facebook became synonymous with social media. Yeah, we're seeing people exploiting the kind of ignorance that made so many people now think tapping the Facebook app on your phone is the internet, and now think crypto is Coinbase or something else equally horrible as that, he said. Yeah, people are small-minded, right? Not all you guys, because you're here listening to me, but that's all right. Coinbase is the only publicly listed cryptocurrency exchange in the U.S., and the country's leading exchange by volume, according to CoinGecko. 
company reported it had 8.5 million monthly transacting users on average in its third fiscal quarter of this year, a 16% increase from the same period a year ago. What bear market? <laughs> Dang. Snowden told Kent Decrypt attendees that Coinbase has put regulatory compliance over the founding ideals of blockchain-based networks, innovation that could tilt power back into the hands of internet users, right? If enough of us care, we can all make this world a way better place. But most of us, these losers, like to watch the, the Kardashians. Why the hell would you want to watch people that are brain dead and that made money off a of sucking cock? I don't understand it. Anyway, to those of you in the room who work for Coinbase, it's really nothing personal. Just an example of overly compliant, overly indulgent, he said. Yeah, you guys can still get rich. You'll make a lot of money. But have you actually advanced the interests of society? No, but the Kardashians have, right? <laughs> Coinbase claims to have prioritized regulatory compliance since its earliest days. And the company has asserted that working with regulators, regulators is key to widespread acceptance for cryptocurrencies as an asset class. Well, I heard one of these regulators even say, if we don't make regulations, they're just going to go around us. That's how powerful crypto is. I don't know, man. We've always believed that for crypto to gain the legitimacy needed for mainstream adoption, compliance can't be an afterthought. It has to be core to the way we operate, the company wrote in a blog post. Compliance with existing regulatory frameworks isn't an option. It's a necessity. Snowden went on to compare Coinbase to a company that sells products much in the same way a home improvement retailer like Home Depot does, adding that its commitment to know your customer procedures which helps them remain compliant with anti-money laundering regulations, is a drag on the crypto space. You're darn right it is. You're not even building lawnmowers. You're selling them. <laughs> but great, you've popularized lawnmowers. Lawnmowers are important. They're valuable, he said. But when I go buy a lawnmower, nobody asks me for, for me to hold up my passport and scan my face. And the fact that you guys go along with that is frankly toxic and embarrassing. Ooh, cringing them. Snowden said that companies looking to bring individuals into the world of Web3 while also remaining compliant with regulations at the same time should do so in a way that doesn't compromise the ideals that originally drove people to the industry. Yeah, because it's all ass backwards, right? There were people exposing Sam Bankman Freed before this whole FTX debacle happened, saying how this guy is not right. He does this, he does that, he's doing this bad for the industry, that bad for the industry, trying to centralize it all into his control. And think about that. If he had got away with that, he was, it was like a Democrat fucking fundraiser. They was in there just taking money. You know what I mean? So it was pretty much a free way for them to make money, the Democrats. I'm sorry, but politicians are scum. My plea to those of you who are in that, they should be charged. If they let all this happen with all this regulation, but they're taking money from it, and then it caused all this harm to all these people because they weren't freaking making sure the business that they were involved in taking money from was regulated. That's a big issue. Especially this Nancy Pelosi woman, the richest freaking politician or one of them. She, there's an app created for Nancy Pelosi because she's so perfect in the stock markets, better than any financial advisor that's ever freaking lived. Think about that. She makes decisions on what companies get what, what rules get in place for what companies get this, get that. She's a part of all that. She's aware of what's about to happen. So whenever you see Nancy Pelosi make deals because she has to make them open because she's in the public, you, you know something big for that company is about to happen. So the app is like, just follow Nancy Pelosi's trades and you'll get rich because she's always right. That's corruption, people. Think about that. Nobody is that perfect in the markets, especially a politician who says she's there for the people. If she's there for the people, all that work and love and money would be in the communities, except it's in her pocket. Think about it. My plea to those of you who are in that big end of the pool is, if you're going to cave, cave strategically, Snowden said. Leave space for the protocol for the sort of values that we're all supposed to be representing here. Coinbase has said that it has the same responsibilities as other large financial institutions when it comes to verifying customers who engage with the company and enforcing policies that prevent money laundering. Many of its compliance programs are modeled on retail banks. Big mistake. The company explains that, it, that its compliance programs, which include monitoring the overall cryptocurrency market and detecting financial crime, are intended to protect its customers. 
Snowden broadened his criticism to include any crypto exchange that keeps track of users' funds. You don't want to be in a position where you can check that, because really, that's not your role in society. Even if the government says it is, Snowden said, that's for police, that's for intelligence, that's their job. And their job is supposed to be hard. This guy's got balls, man. Coinbase did not immediately reply to a request for a comment on Decrypt. Yeah, this is what happens, right? You can say whatever you want when you're not scared of the government coming down on you, right? He's already on the run. He's got nothing left to lose. So he just speaks the truth, right? Or his version of the truth, like, like we all do. But it, I like it. He's a pretty straight shooting guy. And uh, me? Let him back. Government always says we need strong individuals who will stand up for what's right. But when they do, government usually offs them or jails them, right? I've seen so many cases of like, this guy was curing cancer, but yet the government came in and tried to put him in jail for it. Why not praise the guy? Why not freaking help him out? Why not get these things rolling? Instead, they tried to freaking put him in jail. I've lost track of that story. It was years ago. But man, what the, what the idea was, if the government could get him to go to jail, they can get his medicine. They can get his patent. They can get what he did and take it for themselves. And if he ever did go to jail, where's this curing freaking medicine all of a sudden? It's on the shelf in the government. You know what I mean? This is our government. They have too many ties with pharma, too many ties with oil, too many ties with Wall Street. It's not going to work out well for any of us much longer if this keeps going on. The corruption is blatant. It's all there in front of our faces. It's all up to us to like do something. Sorry about the rant. That's just how it is, right? Sometimes you just can't freaking be nice to the noobs and the and the flakes in this world for too much longer. It's just crazy. Um, thank you for watching the crypto realm. Play hard, trade smart. <laughs>